Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Roshan and today I'm going to share my top 8 media players with you. Please watch this video till the last. I do have some awesome analytics regarding this video players. So I have evaluated these players that I'm going to discuss in this video. These features are load time, user interface, feature and uh, software size. So first is load time. So I have tested the load time of different players in different conditions and uh, these are the values in seconds. And this is a graph significantly pointing at the SM player with minimum load time. Starting from the 8th position we have final media player. It is a lightweight media player with download size of 7.3 MB. It has no extra codecs to download. User interface is real bad, I mean it's not good. So I'll give it a 1 out of 5. Uh, it does not have online subtitle support, so you have to do it manually. Average load speed is 2.19 seconds, so that's a bit impressive. In summary, this player is to be used on older PCs which has less RAM and the processor, lower processor. But in spite being this small, the media playback is really good. So let's move on to our next player. The seventh player in this category is Goom player. So you must be familiar with software is around 27.8 MB or 28 MB and there is no extra codecs to download user interface is not that good so it's not catchy it has excellent online subtitle support it gets its subtitles from opensubtitles.net the main features it has are advanced audio and video settings no change in the color and brightness such that and 360 video and vr support etc the average media load speed i mean the speed taken to load the media is 3.23 seconds moving on to our sixth position we'll see media player it's like the oldest player, it has developed a lot now. The software is around 23.5 or 24 MB. It has no extra codecs to download. User interface is okay but not catchy. It has no online subtitle support. Main features it has are plugin support. You have various plugins, you can download them and use them. And advanced audio and video settings, screen capture, and etc. Average media load speed is 1.92 seconds. So that's really impressive. Moving on to our fifth position, so we are talking about game player. At one point, it was very much famous. The software is around 36 MB and it has extra codec download of 1.4 MB. User interface is good, so I'll give it a 3 out of 5. No online subtitle support. Main features are like uh, advanced audio and video settings, uh, 4K support, VR, 360 video support, etc. It also supports 3D. Average load speed is 5.95 seconds that is it's too, it's really slow that's really crappy moving on to a fourth position mpchc it is an open source media player software size is 12.3 mb around 13 mb there are no extra codecs to download user interface is good so 3 out of 5 it has online subtitle support main features are advanced audio and video settings and uh, nothing much Average load speed is 2.3 seconds. Moving on, our next player for third position is SM player. It's an open source player with great community support. It was first started at uh, SourceForge, it's a great site. The, the actual player size is 31.4 MB and it has an extra 8 MB of product download. The user interface is you know, really bad, so I'll give it a uh, 2 out of 5. It has online subtitle support from the same open subtitles and the main feature it has is last frame resume that means it resumes from where you stopped your video it's like an mx player and uh, other features are like advanced and uh, advanced audio video settings etc average media load speed is 1.69 seconds it's pretty much the top in this section it's super fast in loading the movies moving on to our second position we have here Cyberlink Power DVD Ultra 16, so it is the latest. It's not a free software, you can you can indeed try it, you can always opt a cracked version. The software download size is actually uh, 1, 142, it ranges from 142 to 170 
so no extra codecs to download user interface is is superb i'll give 4 out of 10 it's superb it has no online subtitle support main features are tv mode pc mode like you're using an android tv os no it's good it has last frame resume it remembers the last frame you watched it has 4k support 3d mode etc average media load speed is 2.24 and that's really good so our hash one media player the top contender is pot player It's the best in the market. It has great community features like simply flow into it. And the software size is around 26 MB. Extra codec download of 13 MB. User interface is very good, so I'll give 4 4.5 out of 5. It has no online subtitle support. Main features are playlist and transparency panel, streaming, advanced audio video settings, 4K, etc. Average media load speed is 3 seconds. Thank you guys for watching this. Please hit the like button if you like and please subscribe. Bye bye. See you guys next time.